Okay, so a bench monitor, which is a Asus something or other, it does not turn on anymore. And it started having issues recently where sometimes it would just turn off on its own. Uh, it wouldn't wake up from sleep, stuff like that. And now, now it's just doing nothing at all. So in case this thing solves itself, I just wanted to short or record this short clip with my phone. So yeah, this is the short clip. It's dead, Jim. Okay, I have the monitor off of the mount. Now I have to figure out how to get this thing apart. Of course, it's got no screws. It's all clipped together because everything today or these days is just made disposable. Obviously, we have a power supply that's got bad caps, almost certainly. So need to take this apart. Well, that's off. That's difficult. And I checked and well, I actually found the service manual and I checked it. And literally all it said for removing the back cover was remove latches around bezel and remove bezel. And it just showed a picture of someone peeling away the bezel with no additional information on, on how to do it. I just had to use brute force and um, to get it even started, I couldn't really get it started. I just on the bottom edge, I just hammered a screwdriver in till I opened a gap. Then I was able to use a plastic spudger tool to get the rest off. I'm sure people who work on these things often are familiar with that process, but I never take apart these crappy LCD monitors. And this one's about 10 years old, so it's kind of crappy. But anyways, with the cover off, there is obviously what contains the main board, but the power supply is under here. So this is what I need to access. I see we have a LG panel. The screen's actually decent quality, like the LCD panel as well. I like this monitor and I like that it's got a lot of inputs, VGA, DVI, and HDMI. So very flexible in, in that regard. Okay, the power supply, that's it. I would suspect the problem with this because it generally, once it's running, it seems to stay running. It's probably this little cap here on the high side. So this is the high side. Those caps are going to be fine. It's possible these caps are the problem, but the fact is, well, I, earlier when this wasn't working, I came back later and then it was working. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I think, yeah, I'm going to switch out this little cap here because that's probably the beginning, but I should probably check these on the low side as well with the ESR meter and we'll just see if anything looks bad nothing visually looks bad on the board no bulging caps everything seems fine don't see any kind of damage or anything like that so we'll see <laughs> as for the this is probably typical but this whole thing was just taped on the back of the monitor there's like no fasteners or anything <laughs> so hopefully i'll be able to get this back in the right position because obviously this needs to sit in the back and the ports align and oh boy what what junk okay so i don't think the problem was that little cap actually out of the board it's a 4.7 microfarad so 1.6 ohms let's just change the frequency where's the frequency button there it is let's put this down to 120 hertz what are we gonna get 5.3 ohms i don't know it's a little high but whatever it, it's slightly out of spec so I ended up changing that cap anyways. Let's flip this over so I can show you. So there's the new replacement. It's this guy right here. I checked these caps down here. They all seem fine. I think the problem, well, I was looking at the board and I noticed it's a bit discolored here. There are two diodes and they had cracked solder joints. Those two diodes right there. So I think that was the problem actually. So I'm thinking that this thing should probably work now. <laughs> the question is, can I get this back together? Let's find out. Okay, there we go. The monitor's back together and it's working. Hopefully, the fault it had is actually solved. <laughs> because it wasn't completely re reproducible, meaning it was intermittent. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come back. I generally never have any, well, I haven't had any problems with this thing. It just started recently where it wouldn't turn on. Uh, generally... You get a orange light when this thing is sleeping, so when the computer's asleep, and I don't turn off the monitor, it just sits there. But there we go. Uh, let's see if I turn it off. There we go. I finally cleaned it as well, so it's a little less dirty. Turn it back on. Asus, really persistent perfection. Not quite. Not after ten years. Either way, there we go. So fingers crossed. That was a fix.
Uh, putting the case back together, very easy. Uh, getting that thing aligned was a bit of a trick. Uh, top tip, if you have one like this that's taped on, mark it with a pen so you can realign it when you're done. I just kind of had to hold the back cover on and get it lined up perfectly, and then I just used the small pieces of tape so that way when I put the lid back on, I could kind of align it perfectly and the connectors fit through the back cover, and then the back cover just pushes down. And of course, with the 70s towel, I wasn't worried about scratching the front, and um, all that worked out. All right, thumbs up, I hope. Yes, please work, don't break. I really feel like I don't want to buy another monitor. Modern technology. Ugh.